Hi everybody. I want to tell you something about how YouTube videos really helped me out about 15 years ago. But first let me say, uh, since high school, I was always involved in musicals and plays and things like that, right? I was uh, heavily involved in community theater and uh, was even on the board of directors for a theater at one time. So it's a lifelong interest and I still enjoy the the acting, the directing, and the stage managing. And during COVID, I was lucky enough to have one of the plays that I wrote staged at a university theater. And it's really one of the highlights of my life. So, but as much as I loved all this, especially early on, uh, the singing component of it, um, I knew I had to improve my voice uh, if I was ever going to get the lead roles. You know, I always did well enough to be in the chorus or I could be in an ensemble, but never a lead or a featured role. And I wanted that experience at least once, right? So I started watching uh, this guy's YouTube videos about 15 years ago. He was a vocal coach and uh, he was young, I would say maybe in his early 20s. And incidentally, he didn't have any of the flashy edits or uh, any of the jump shots or any of the advanced editing in his videos. It was straight coaching and he would jump right into it when he started the video. So uh, he made his videos in his apartment. He had a simple keyboard. Uh, very much like the one my grandson uses now. And he wore just a plain white t-shirt, um, also like my grandson wears the white crew neck t-shirt uh, in his videos. And he was giving away this valuable information. He was giving it away for free. So I started practicing his techniques. Now to give you an idea of what my singing voice is like, I'm an alto, technically second alto. Um, in high school, when uh, my school choir didn't have enough tenors, I would sing with them. So now back in the 80s, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, he wrote a song uh, that I fell in love with, and it's called Requiem. You may know it as P.A. Hesu. So he wrote this song for his father, and I'll link it in the description because it's really a beautiful song, and I'd love for you to hear it. Anyway, um, I always wanted to be able to sing that song, The Problem is that it's written for for soprano and it has notes really high in the stratosphere that um, that I could just I could just never sing especially this one particular note in the song is just really really high now back to the young vocal coach uh, I practiced his strategies every day for I don't know maybe two or three months uh, he had techniques on everything uh, his techniques um, he did free videos uh, with techniques on how to warm up, how to improve the tone and the quality and the strength of your voice, how to um, how to unlock your voice and vibrato control, how to breathe. And uh, let me say, this was during a time when you could download YouTube videos for free and you could put them on a CD, which I always did. And when I was in my car or whenever I had free time, uh, whenever I had a free moment, I was always practicing with his video. So when I went to sing, I had to stop because I really could not recognize my own voice. It had changed, uh, it had grown, it improved, it just improved so much that I really could not believe uh, my own singing voice. It was really a major transformation. And ultimately I landed one of those lead roles here, a feature role there, and um, which, uh, you know, which surprised me. But another surprise was that I could finally sing P.A. Heisu. And then I had to test it out on another song, you know. So uh, I always liked the musical Nine. And there's a song in there called Call from the Vatican. And towards the end of that song, there's this really high note that I could never hit. But with this new vocal ability from this uh, YouTube vocal coach, I could finally sing that comfortably as well. So, um, and I thought of this guy, this vocal coach a few years ago, and I looked back to see if he still had that YouTube channel. Now, I only saw like one or two of those old videos, you know, from 15 years ago with him at his keyboard, um, wearing his white crew neck, you know, those videos that helped me so much. Um, but what I did see was him in a smoking jacket, uh, and an ascot, and he was in front of a grand piano. 
And I don't know him personally, but I just felt so proud of him. You know, it turns out that he made it his career. And over the years, he's become a professional vocal coach. Uh, he's coached some now famous people who've won, uh, you know, the singing competitions here and abroad. And he's a professional uh, recording artist himself. So I just love to see that. You know, I know that he helped me so much and I'm glad to see that he kept going because he really does have a gift for helping people to unlock their voices, to find their voices and to um, just to improve their own vocal ability. And um, I know he really helped me and it just made a huge difference in attaining some of my own personal goals with my participation in theater. So um, yeah, so that's my story of something I learned from YouTube that actually made a difference in something that I was pursuing. And if you're still with me, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments um, if there's something you've learned from YouTube uh, that has made a difference in your life. I'd love to hear your story. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.